Hello, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 1st of May. You have a tremendous appreciation for life's broad canvas. The more exciting and fast moving and interesting life is, the more it switches you on. But the sun does continue in a part of your scope, which is very much to do with life's nuts and bolts. And you're being asked to grapple with these this week. But the quarter moon of Wednesday just cautions you not to try to take on so much simply from your enthusiasm, seeing you needing to be so productive, actually, you could end up feeling a bit overwhelmed. So pare things down a little bit. Concentrate on your priorities. Mercury, of course, has been tracking backwards. And it may have seen some stop starts, misunderstandings or disappointments around your love life or even around your social situation. Also by Wednesday, Mercury starts to go forwards, which is something to really celebrate. And all through this week, it continues to be side by side, the planet of restlessness, Uranus. That's going to create a tingle of excitement. With Venus in this area too, it wouldn't be a surprise if your love or social situations were rekindled in some way. It could even be someone you meet in a very ordinary situation or a person at work that you find yourself almost having a spontaneous connection with and chatting very easily and comfortably. However, Mars, the planet of drive, of our desire, continues in your sector of relating. And that's going to give you that extra push to reach out to people. But by the end of this week, it does tangle with the planet of mystery, which is Neptune. Neptune is very much to do with the past. It's to do with nostalgia, but it's also for you at the moment to do with your emotions. Just be sure that whatever moves you make really sit comfortably with you. There is actually, in a more practical dimension, a fantastic link between the Sun and Pluto, the planet of change, in the last two days of this week. And if you are really getting to grips with the micro detail of what's important to you, even if it is a little dull, this virtuous energy can be converted into something very sustainable that can give you a practical basis going forwards, which you will relish. This is a week, therefore, to enjoy it, to have some fun, but there is going to be a need to be serious and focus when it's required at the appropriate times. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.